Some Western countries have accused South Africa of grandstanding during the just-ended United Nations Security Council debate on Libya. And Kusatu says it wants a more effective method which will ensure that land is indeed returned to African people. I'm Richard Brooks. Some Western countries have accused South Africa of grandstanding during the just-ended United Nations Security Council debate on Libya. South Africa earlier insisted on sticking to the current AU position not to recognize the Libyan rebel government, the Transitional National Council. South Africa and the U.S. have struck a deal to allow the release of about 10 billion rand in frozen Libyan funds for humanitarian aid and other civilian needs. South Africa's ambassador to the United Nations, Basul Sanku. As South Africa, we have always said the AU is critical in the resolution of the crisis in Libya. Therefore, it was um, important for us um, to collectively review the current situation and the unfolding situation in Libya. As diplomats, we engage in negotiations and, um, and uh, we are happy that uh, South Africa's concerns have been taken on board. Kusatu says it wants a more effective method which will ensure that land is indeed returned to African people. Its Central Executive Committee meeting has resolved that the Constitution should be amended in order to fast-track land redistribution. Yesterday, Cabinet approved the long-awaited Green Paper on Land Reform for public comment. The paper deals with a number of land issues, including foreign ownership of land and possible limits on local ownership. Kusatu's president, Sudumu Tlamini, says they welcome Cabinet's decision but adds that land expropriation without compensation is not the way to go. It would lead to chaos. We believe that a wise land was stolen and taken from the African folk without compensation. It would not be proper to do the same in a democratic dispensation. Zimbabwe is one example where such would have happened. People would grab land and there is no skills, there is no comprehensive plan to ensure an effective use of the land. ESCOM's Chief Executive Officer Brian Dames says that the power utility plans to build up its coal stockpiles to 40 days in the third quarter of this year as it aims to boost reserves ahead of the rainy season. ESCOM uses mainly coal-fired plants to generate about 90% of the electricity in Africa's largest economy. It has to rebuild its stock levels, which fell slightly after miners in the sector went on a one-week strike in July. Rilani Beloy has more. Dame says ESCOM is projecting to build 40 days supply in the third quarter. He says because of the strike, ESCOM will buy an additional 5 million tons this year to ensure that they maintain their coal stock. Dame says ESCOM managed to keep the lights on during a tough winter in the world's top platinum producer and major gold supplier thanks to lower than expected demand and initiatives put in place to manage supply. However, risks to the system remain. Rulani Baloy, SABC News. Catch the latest news anytime here on Newsbreak Option 1. <laughs>